What's good, everybody? It's the White Magical Tiger, right back at you with another beautiful video. Today, it's about the chosen ones. Who are the chosen ones? Well, honestly, you'll know if you're a chosen one. You just know, it's an inner knowing. And I have a message for y'all. And people aren't gonna get us. For whatever reason, we just simply do not fit in. And yeah, we just gotta come to this radical acceptance of that and just realize that we are just bringing just something divine into this world that is lacking, that's not here already. And a lot of people aren't gonna recognize it and they're gonna essentially, we're gonna become outcasts. And a lot of us are the black sheeps. We are the black swans. In my case, I'm the white tiger. And we have to come, uh, to tr we have to transmute this loneliness. Well, a lot of us will experience loneliness and transmute that loneliness into all oneness, into aloneness. Aloneness is different than loneliness. Loneliness is this, we feel this need that we need others, that we need to be with other people. Aloneness is that you, you, you're fully comfortable being alone and that you don't need anyone really. Uh, but when you're in the company of others, yeah, you can appreciate it. But honestly, in my case, most of the time I enjoy my alone time. I'm so grateful to get that alone time because that's the best time when we can commune with the Most High Mother, Father, God. That's when we can read the scriptures, read spiritual texts. We can meditate. We can pray. We can just enjoy the silence. We can just do whatever we want to do. So if you want to have fun and just watch a movie or play music or it, it just gives you a lot of time to work on your craft, to work on your creativity, to commune with our Mother, Father, God. And essentially, it's a beautiful thing, y'all. It is a beautiful blessing. And Jesus Christ says, um, many are called, but few are chosen. And the, the chosen ones, have the, they have the spirit of truth in them. And they just have incredible intuition. Essentially, they know what's up. So don't be surprised if a lot of people that you grew up with, your friends, your family, they start to see you differently and you just stop being able to relate to them. That's completely normal, y'all. When you start changing as a chosen one, you start raising your energy, your frequency, your vibration to whole new levels like the levels of love, joy, peace, bliss, these heavenly feelings. Most of the world is not vibrating at that vibration. They are not on that frequency. They are not emanating the same energy that you are emanating. And essentially, we are on a path of Christ, Krishna, crystalline consciousness where King Jesus Christ has chosen us and he is using us to as awaken to this Christ consciousness. Essentially, he is our guru. He is the guru of gurus. Gu means dispeller. Ru means darkness. Guru means dispeller of darkness. And honestly, y'all, it is a blessing. It is an absolute blessing to be chosen by King Jesus Christ for him to separate us and put us alone because he needs to he needs to teach us and and, and it's, and in a lot of ways it's protective as well it protects our energy because a lot of people just aren't going to get us and they're going to want to debate with us they're going to argue with us and they just don't love the truth like you and me love the truth and it can be very energetically draining y'all they're just not on fire for god and it's very rare to find individuals who are on fire for god so it's better off that we just are separated and that we're alone and that we can spend all this precious time on getting to know our mother, father, God, and getting to know ourselves, getting to know our soul. So if, if you're experiencing this, just know it's a blessing. And when you feel those feelings of loneliness, the way to transmute that, one of the best ways to transmute that is, if you can, go out into nature. And if you can't, that's okay. But read spiritual uplifting texts, sing, play an instrument, Play, play spiritual songs, songs that praise God, the Almighty. Pray, sit in stillness, meditate. There's a lot of ways to transmute this loneliness because the chosen ones, we will experience a lot of loneliness just because we're the outcasts. We're the black sheep. We're the black swans. We're the white tigers. We're the ones that are different. 
And yeah, it's okay though. Come to this radical acceptance and realize all- aloneness is all oneness. And essentially isolate yourself and just embrace it, love it, and just work on your relationship with God, the Almighty, because everything that you want and desire, it's already inside of you. I know that sounds cliche, but the source of love, the source of peace, the source of joy, the source of confidence, abundance, everything already lies within us, y'all. And it's going on that path of meditation, of prayer, of silence, of sitting in stillness. Fasting can help a lot too, y'all. Doing juice feasts, juice cleanses, water fasting, that can also help just cl- just clear whatever whatever like unwanted thoughts are there, whatever, just disruptive thoughts. It helps just wash that away. Just wash that away. Imagine like like a swamp or something or stagnant water and then you just pour water, just pour water and, and the water just flushes it, just flushes the water and it dilutes it and eventually it becomes clear. That's kind of what meditation does too. It, like uh, Meditation where you just sit in stillness. I, imagine like a waterfall from heaven coming into my crown chakra, my corona chakra and just washing away everything that no longer serves me, y'all. If you sit in f- for five minutes of stillness, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. If you sit for one straight hour, even 30 minutes, y'all, 15, or five, like, it is incredible. If you sit still, don't move your legs, don't move your arms, don't open your hands, sit with a straight spine, keep your eyes closed. You do that for, maybe even do that for a minute, y'all, one minute. I tell people sometimes, like, oh, I, I, I can't meditate. I'm like, just do it for a minute. Do it for, put a three-minute timer on your phone. Sit for three minutes. Don't move for three minutes. Keep your eyes closed. And it's like, even those three minutes are so powerful. So yeah, y'all, just want to let you know that you're not alone, that I feel you, and that God bless you for being one of the chosen ones. And I, and I do feel like we can lose this, y'all. It says, many are called, but few are chosen. And I think this is where the fear of the Lord comes in, where essentially, y'all, if like, we kind of dip back into our old ways, and we don't take this, this purification seriously, I mean, we go back to our old habits of living a hedonistic lifestyle, smoking cigarettes, smoking cigars, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, taking lots of psychedelics, watching a lot of porn, being really promiscuous sexually, just cursing a lot, just things that are unholy. The Holy Spirit can't dwell in bodies like that. If we're swearing and getting drunk and partying and sleeping around and all this stuff and just taking LSD and just lots of psychedelics just like now I know that psychedelics can be great and all but some people overdo it y'all some people just overdo it and it becomes like a habit it has its time and place but if we do it too much y'all I really I don't think the Holy Spirit I don't think she's a fan of that I don't think she wants to dwell in a temple like that and 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 y'all I almost felt like recently when I was falling back into my old patterns of the pornography recently I, I, start, I, f- I felt the fear of the Lord for the first time. I really felt like the Holy Spirit, if I kept this up and I, I really went back into my old patterns, she would leave me. She would straight up leave me because that stuff was so filthy, the content I was consuming. She doesn't like that. Holy Spirit does not like that. And I felt the fear of the Lord for the first time. That's what got me to stop because I was like, oh man, if I keep doing this, like it's called willful sinning and Jesus Christ He's all loving and everything, but if we start willful sinning, willful sinning and become make it a habit, he's not so quick to forgive us, y'all. Like and I started to feel the fear of the Lord, just like with the willful sinning and that the Holy Spirit no longer dwelling in my temple, y'all, and it was a wake up call for sure. And so it, it it's serious to be chosen, y'all. It is a calling. And most of us are the 144,000, the 144K, the Rainbow Warriors. And if you resonate with that, if you see the numbers 144, you see it on license plates, you see it on clocks, you see it on your phone, you see it on wherever you see it, you're probably one of them, y'all. It's just an inner knowing. Like It's just like being a chosen one. You just know. You just know if you're part of the 144K. It's, it's either you know or you don't know. And if you resonate with it at all, you resonate with the Rainbow Warrior. Some of us are like what we call light workers, star seeds, indigo, children, whatever it is. Uh, that's not the case for everyone. Ultimately, God's the one that knows. And I think we can lose our status as part of the 144,000. 
And if we if we are chosen like that, and then we just go astray and we don't keep the commandments, Jesus Christ says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And St. John says, hereby we do know him that we keep his commandments. And if we claim that we know Jesus Christ and that we love him, but we don't keep his commandments, we're a liar and the truth is not in us. St. James is the one that says faith without works is dead. So this false churchianity, false Christian doctrine of by the grace of God we're saved by faith alone. That's a false doctrine, y'all. That's a satanic lie. The Apostle Paul is no apostle. Jesus Christ warned in the book of Revelation uh, about false apostles or a false apostle. He was talking about Paul, um, the guy who used to murder Christians for a living, and he was a Pharisee. Jesus always warned us about the Pharisees, that their father was the devil. And so, he, he wrote half the New Testament, 13 of the 27 books of the New Testament are written by Paul. And this guy murdered Christians for a living. He teaches a false doctrine of by the grace of God, you're saved by faith alone. Jesus Christ never taught a thing called grace ever. We have to keep the commandments, y'all. We have to have a repentant heart because when we break the commandments, we need to repent. When we steal, when we kill, which includes eating the animals, when we commit adultery, when we dishonor our parents, when we lie, cheat, whatever it is, y'all. False idolatry, all this stuff, y'all. We gotta, we gotta repent of that. Repentance is such a big part, and it's part of the works. Baptizing ourselves in water, getting out here in the ocean, bathtub, shower, jumping in the river, the lake, whatever it is, even in the rain. I baptized myself in the rain the other day because I was like, oh, I haven't done this one before. And I just like, I got in the rain and I was like, in the name of my heavenly father, the cosmic consciousness, my heavenly mother, the cosmic om, amen vibration, and King Jesus Christ, the embodiment of the Christ Krishna consciousness. I love doing the sign of the cross. And one interesting thing, y'all, about the Catholics, because I grew up Catholic, my family, I'm like fifth generation Catholic. Uh, the, when they do the sign of the cross, they do here, then they do the sternum, and then they do here, here. That's an upside down cross. Look at this. From here to here to here to here. That just forms an upside down cross. So what I do is I do it from the forehead. I down do it to my Dantian now, Dantian, and then a cross. That forms, or that that forms a better cross because when I saw because the Catholics have some wicked things y'all um, and I'm very grateful for my Catholic heritage because they're still as as wicked and evil as the the Catholic Roman Empire Church is uh, there are still some very beautiful things in it y'all very beautiful things and uh, there are devout priests not all of them are pedophile evil satanic just beings <laughs> some of them really do love God and uh, and I come to appreciate my heritage and my culture of that. I appreciate the statues and the artwork and the architecture. And it's like, there's so much beauty in it. There's so much beauty already in it. The music, the buildings, the, the, the stained glass windows, the statue, all the artwork. And it's like, how can an absolutely evil, corrupt organization create so much beauty? And then I realized it got hijacked, y'all. It got hijacked. And there is truth. There is truth in it. Now that's for another video. This video is for the chosen ones. <laughs> and it's just, it's just having that discernment and our religion is truth and that we have the spirit of truth in us and that we can discern. We have, the, we have that, that ability to discern what is truth and what is untruth and that we have an open mind. And yeah, y'all, and we're not perfect, but God is putting us on a path of perfection. He is perfecting us and awakening us to this higher state of consciousness of being the superman, the superwoman, the Christ, Krishna, crystalline being. Jesus Christ is the one that said, is it not written in your law? Ye are gods. And he was referring to the, the Torah. I, I believe the book of Psalms is from the Torah. Uh, the 82nd Psalm, verse 6. Ye are gods, and all of you are... What is it? Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Something like that. All right, y'all. May God bless all y'all. Stay groovy. Peace be with you. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for liking it, sharing it with your friends and family who resonate with truth, commenting down in the section, comment section down below with whatever you want to share, and subscribing to the channel uh, because ultimately I want you to submit to the Lord. I want you to follow the Lord, Jesus Christ. And thank you for anyone that wants to make a donation. Very appreciated for supporting this channel, for supporting this ministry, whatever it is, this temple of truth. And may God bless all you. Amen. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. 